What up my geeks? Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine and today we're doing another unboxing. We are going to unbox the GL iNet Slate. Oops, let's, there it is. GL iNet Slate Gigabit Wireless Router. It is a Geekazine unbox. We are uh, going to check this all out. Uh, the Slate is super small. It's awesome because I can put it into my rig and I can use it uh portably it's got a very low footprint very low it's a it's light super lightweight so i can actually uh use that to create uh ip addresses for multiple computers and when i'm in a uh, hotel or something like that uh go from there so let's get into here don't forget uh, on youtube to like subscribe comment and hit that bell notification for the next video because we're going to do a lot more unboxings of course we've got ces we've got nam we've got nab we've got south by southwest uh just a ton of conferences lots of videos you can check out uh over there so let's meet slate really quick here this is the slate it was a ces innovation award winner uh it has a lot of features to it that i like um you can put in a micro sd card 128 gigabyte and be able to use it for uh for storage so if you're at a conference or something like that and you want to share things and not go across their wi-fi network you can do it that way uh makes life a lot easier maximum 300 megabits per second on uh, basically 2.4 g and then 433 megabits per second on 5g wi-fi speeds uh we got three gigabit ports in here and so that will help on everything so let's switch over here this is the gl ar750 slate let's uh let's give this an unbox so we're gonna slide this down and basically a piece of paper right there and then we got the box let's bring it up and go oh something like that there we go and the top of the box it says let's get started shall we let's all get started so, uh, we got a support card right here and a warranty card. We'll put that right there. We'll grab this. This is the device itself. Let's take it out of its plastique. There we are. There it is right there. We've got two antennas, um, standard antennas. They don't look like they detach at all like the previous ones. So you can't put in a more powerful antenna. That's too bad. Got the TF card slot right here. Uh, we've got USB. Uh, one, this one is meant for powering the device. And then of course this one, you can uh, probably tether your phone or something like that. And then of course, like it says, it's got the three links. Two of them are out and one is where you would, you know, you plug in like an external, if you have a uh, external cable coming in to give you internet or something like that, and you're not using the wireless uh, in, then you can do that. And then of course these two will go out to your computers uh, to help you with that. Over here, it uh, looks like we have a power button and a mode button and with this mode button this, this can change so you can make it do different things so other than that uh we've got a qr code on the bottom which will give probably uh hook you up to that so let's just set this right here for now we got a small box right here and just so you know i don't know if i mentioned this already but i did purchase this outright so uh, everything is, can be found over geekazine.com forward slash reviews. Everything is my own opinion here. So we got just basic power wart if you decide to plug it into a wall, which is cool. Or you can plug it into a USB hub. And we got two cables here. The first cable is the USB connection. This one, next one is just a standard Ethernet cable. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to plug it into this laptop right here. And then we'll power it on and go from there i think i'll use the wireless to connect not a wired port but i'll definitely use this to power the the device because you can definitely do that so we'll bring this in plug it in there we go nice and plugged in and then we're gonna just uh plug this into a usb port over here this is the hp zbook x360 by the way which i'm i'm uh, i'm reviewing we'll find this wireless i got two wireless cards in here i will take one out so for setting up we gotta look for the glar 7505 
we'll go into the wireless and we'll see some link lights here there they are and so it'll take a minute to power on these are uh, not going to be super fast so we got three things we got the power this is the power light uh looks like we've got the okay this is the 2g light and this is the 5g light so if you go 2g or 5 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz uh you'll know so everything looks ready to go so now we should see the uh device in here there we are we got the 5g and we've got the 2g so we'll just choose that and we'll say connect and i'm going to change this as as i go so i'll put it in its own passwords and security but we're just using the defaults right now just to show you what we've got thing under the security key which is good life and once again i'll change that once i get this all set up i'm gonna allow the pc i will do that and it's still it, it since it's not plugged into anything it's it's trying to figure out if there's an external source for internet which there is none so there yep it says no internet and secured so let's take a look at the properties really quick and there we are we're into the router itself it's saying choose your language we'll say english the next and it's saying hey you should set up your admin password uh we'll just do one two three four five week but yeah one two three four five and we'll submit that so basically this is it we have uh we have the in we have the out we have a vpn option here so we can bring in oh, we got one wireless client which is the laptop of course uh we can do cable connection uh, we can tether it uh, as a repeater so i could uh, hit the repeater and go down here and i can scan my wi-fi i can use my phone uh to uh, connect up there i can tether in a 3g or 4g modem or my phone with a uh with a cable so it's a really cool device uh the previous version that i had uh did a great job and then it passed so but you know it i worked i overworked it so this new box it's gonna be it's a little bit more powerful and allows me to actually set up two zones on the on um, on the network so i can have one uh one of those ports go to my cameras and the other one go to my computers and then they can work separately but then work together so anyway that's it that's that's the unboxing of the gli net uh slate gigabit wireless router uh, over at geekazine.com. If you have any questions, feel free to tweet me, feel free to Facebook me, feel free to LinkedIn me, uh, Instagram me, whatever, over at Geekazine. That, you'll find me. You type in Geekazine, think magazine, put in a geek. And of course, on YouTube, go ahead, like, subscribe, comment down below. That bell notification will tell you, hey, the next video is coming up. You better watch it. It's important. So, And of course, even on Geekazine, I have uh, on the bottom uh, right-hand corner, it has that little notification to tell you when the next uh, next post comes up on Geekazine. So definitely check it there and uh, we'll go from there. So that was the unboxing of the GL Slate. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. Till next time, you guys geek out and take care.